next video, we bring you back to another good games publishing board game called Unfair. It's a popular hit game that came out a while ago, and now they have an expansion, the Unfair expansion for Aliens, B-movies, dinosaurs, and a Western theme. There's four different themes that you can choose, and the way it works is you can choose depending on the number of players, a certain number of themes based on the number of players. So in a four-player game, you get four themes. You can put all those cards and or themes together and formulate the game. And with these four new sets, you're going to be getting things like unique alien currency. You'll be able to form panoramas, which actually are in all of the different themes, which you may not have noticed in the base game, but now they have a purpose. You can do things that involve abducting people or uh, for the aliens, or you can do something like the dinosaurs are now stored at your park. However, much like another park we know of, the dinosaurs are going to rampage through it if you're not careful. If you don't have your electrified fences, they are possibly going to move from one space to another, getting to that entrance and messing with your theme and attractions and costing you potentially money and or customers. And that is basically what comes in the game. You'll be getting all of the tokens for all the expanded new sets. You'll be getting all the different themes and all the cards attached with them and the ability to make this game as fair or unfair as you want based on what you choose to play with. I'll take you down below, show you what comes in the expansion as well as how you'd set it up in the base game. We'll come up and discuss it. And because I've already reviewed the game and explained it, I'll have a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and watch that video. You can also watch Ferdinand's video, a much better video than mine for a tutorial of the game. And then you can add the information I give you here for more knowledge on how to play with the expansion for Unfair. Let's take a look. Welcome to Unfair with the expansion included. And basically what you're getting here with the base game is everything from the bottom area and on the left and the right hand sides. For the expansion, however, what you're going to be getting is these sets of themes that you can add to the game, as well as these alien tokens, which kind of focus function like the currency. And you're also going to be getting these little guys here, the dinosaur, the little spaceship, and the these spaces provided for your little roller coaster to determine the rounds of play, and you'll put them over here. Each of these decks has a unique function, and they have some unique variation as to how you're going to be utilizing them, but the setup for the game pretty much remains the same. What you're going to do is everybody is going to have an opportunity to choose a theme deck. So if you're playing a four-player game, like I said before, you'll choose four of these guys here. You can play with the expanded ones, all of the expanded ones, or with all the base games or a mix any match. Any extended uh, expansions that come out in the future will also function this way as well. Additionally, too, you're going to need to check to make sure you have the most recent version of the card, and it'll tell you when you open up the game what you need to do. So on the bottom of the card, on the right-hand side, they're going to have little symbols on them, and the mo more dots is going to be the most recent card. And that's going to happen whenever you get new expansions, because some of the cards are going to need to change in order to work with the new theme decks that have come in the game. To set up a game like I had previously stated though, you're going to simply gather a theme, take from the theme the four basic cards. A loan card, the main card that explains the type of uh, uh, type of thing that it is. So Western, it'll give you the basic idea of what you're going to be doing in the Western set. You're going to have a round summary. This is the main gate and a loan. Any of your attractions will go on the right-hand side of your gate, and any of your people and other utilities are going to go on the left-hand side. From there, you're going to gather the rest, the blueprints and all these other sets of cards. Shuffle them separately with the other decks, cards of the same type. So all four different blueprints from the four different decks, you'll shuffle them up and put them in here. Uh, and for the city cards is the only unique thing in which they're going to be the different blue and red ones. So like these guys here, the red and the blue here, you're going to have a certain number on top and on the bottom of this public notice. And then you're pretty much ready to begin the game. And you're basically going to be moving from round to round following this little roller coaster. Now with the expansion, because I'm not going to talk about the full tutorial of the game, you're going to be basically checking at the beginning of the game to see if any rampages happen. You'll be rolling these die here and basically Based on the value, so if it says roll is 9 or lower, uh, then the monster or the, I guess you call it, the dinosaur is going to rampage across your park. And you do that for each individual dinosaur, moving them to the entrance. And then you're going to go through. You're going to go ahead and draw your, your, your event cards. You're going to do the city card here. You're going to play event cards until no one plays them. You'll take your three park actions along with everybody else. Check to see if anybody has that fourth action to do. Then gather guests and or currency. 
and then you're going to go gather currency from guests, and then you're going to go ahead and clean up. You'll re renew the market and any other things you need to do. And finally, you're going to check to see if the aliens abduct anybody. Basically, you're going to have alien currency potentially on your employees, and if that happens, you're going to have them fly away off into outer space, I suppose. And then you're going to once again, rinse and repeat. And that's pretty much the idea of the game up until the point where basically this deck here runs out and then you're gonna gather currency and whoever has the most currency, the most value in victory points will be the winner of the game. You pretty much see what comes included, like I said, these guys here and these guys here, uh, but I'll go into more detail during my review. But as far as the setup and gameplay goes, that's pretty much it. There's not a whole lot of changes in gameplay other than the specific choices you uh, specific themes you choose there's going to be unique twists and turns which we'll talk about above in my review as well as whether i think you should pick this up or not based on whether you have the base game or not unfair is an excellent game i think most people who have played this game generally speaking enjoy this game yes it is aggressive or at least it can be but you have the opportunity to change that if you would like depending on the different themes you play and whether or not you play with some of the unique cards that they give you there's actually a separate set of cards that you can utilize that will change the game to make it not so mean uh, you're basically a park owner and the city kind of wants you to build the park they need the revenue so you do you start building and so does everybody else and the city's nice to you it's providing for you and the theme is amazing right basically what happens is you become disney and you take up too much area stuff starts getting out of control and so the city starts taxing you and starts making and setting regulations on you thusly reducing your profits and making it more challenging for you and that's when the game starts to become unfair it's like a double entendre right it's a fair that you're building and the city starts becoming unfair as you do build that that fair right and so thematically the game is 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 wonderful it does exactly what uh, you would expect it to do as you're building your park in front of you you're placing down your attractions your super attractions you're gathering employees you're gathering unique little quality upgrades to your ride you're trying to either build a plethora of different rides and attractions that are going to provide you points at the end of the game based on how many different upgrades you have on them and the more the merrier in this game the expansion for the game is more of the game right and with like along with most expansions more of the game is just simply if you like the base game you're going to enjoy this one uh some unique and interesting twists to this one however is the aliens and in my opinion the dinosaurs the aliens are basically going to provide you with a new set of currency there's these big green like egg looking things and instead of gathering uh, coins from tickets and from visitors in your park you'll gather alien currency with the alien attractions and upgrades and you'll use those to buy more alien cards and you'll also be able to utilize those by putting them on other people's employees in their park which can make them become abducted you can utilize them as two points in the game for each one that you have and they have some unique twists and turns as far as the different cards available in the blueprint deck aliens are a lot of fun it's probably my favorite of the sets in this expansion or theme then the next one that is of note in my opinion is the dinosaurs basically it allows you to start building a jurassic fair in your park and you are going to be contributing dinosaurs to your different attractions however dinosaurs have a t have, have a tendency to rampage especially the tyrannosaurus rex which is included in there and you're going to be rolling die at the beginning of every round for each of the dinosaurs that you have potentially making them wander around destroying your attractions really really cool and unique little theme that adds a unique twist of having cages which can stop you from having to roll you have one dinosaur per attraction but that's not going to prevent them from running around and trying to disable as many of your attractions rides and all that kind of stuff as they can possibly do so then you have the b movie which activates panorama mode there's gonna be expansions in the future i imagine as well that activate it but this one is one of the specific new ones that activates panoramas which are in every one of the decks but in general do nothing up until you get the point where you actually have this in the game where you're trying to set up panoramas based on positioning maybe you have four cards right you're gonna have one on the uh right you know and then all the way go all the way to the left and you'll have to set that up from the left to right based on where your theme park is you know because you have to set these pieces uh in an order you can't simply switch them around and you're trying to form a panorama of attractions which will score you more points at the end of the game if you are able to do that but it slows you down because you have to choose them specifically based on these settings and so it kind of adds a new twist to the scoring in the game and every single one of the decks has it so you're able to even if you 
play as the B-movie B -movie, uh, park, you don't actually have to utilize that panorama if you don't want to. There's also a pa partial panorama setting where you can kind of rotate, that uh, you can uh, get, gain points for not having the entire thing completed. If you have to build something else or you're running out of time, it's still worth doing. And then you finally have the Western theme, which just kind of adds more unique track attractions and additional uh, rides and whatnot, and has that Western theme attached to it. No new additional rules are provided though, so you're you're getting three unique themes or three theme parks that you can add to the game that have their own unique feature, feature features and functions and then you have the western one which just provides new and interesting attractions that do different things all great all wonderful i enjoy the quality artwork the cards are high quality the components are high quality it feels good to play as the new ones and in fact the aliens are probably one of my favorite of the bunch that i've played including from the base game dinosaurs are really unique really interesting and they potentially can score you a boatload of points at a potential detriment unless you function your park to make sure that the dinosaurs don't go crazy and it's possible but if everybody gets dinosaurs there's not enough cages to go around or, or fences and that can cause some disturbance uh, another wonderful expansion that um, uh, that goes really well with Unfair. Definitely think it's something I consider, would consider you to pick up. Now, a couple caveats to that. There are some negatives, I suppose, mainly coming in little things like the rule book here. It's repetitive and doesn't give all the information that you would like kind of interesting like it'll say one thing multiple times but it won't actually tell you the information you want for instance when dinosaurs move you can only have one in each area it'll tell you to move the biggest dinosaur however you because you only have one in each area you won't be able to move that dinosaur in that area do you skip over and go the one close to the entrance what if all the spaces have a dinosaur do they not move when they close down the attraction do they leave the park i don't know i looked it up i couldn't figure it out i couldn't find it so there's little things like that in the rule book that just need to more information and I couldn't tell you we just played as though they shut down the ride uh, basically whatever the if the rules didn't say, say say something then I imagine if it can't do it it just doesn't do it but the fact that it didn't have an FAQ or whatever was uh, partially disturbing I suppose uh, the game and all the attractions all, all the new themes and attractions that come with the game fee makes the game feel different but it's obviously still the same style of game you're gonna have the ability to uh, choose the different themes and they'll have their own little bars that will give you an explanation of unfairness and whatnot and it really really works well you can kind of situate the game as to how you choose to play which is one of my favorite aspects about this game it doesn't take away from the competitive aspect or me playing easier or harder on my opponents i can choose to make one amazing attraction or a bunch of different attractions and there's also the ability to uh, increase the size of your park with unique and interesting new uh, guests that you might get or employees that you might get as well as the additional uh, there's certain like properties that you can pick up that will increase your guest capacity and whatnot which just really works with this I think and there's so many different variations as to how you want to play what you want to do and how you want to do it where you can win the game it doesn't really matter in which way you want to play you could go aggressive extremely aggressive and the park's also aggressive or you can go as nice as you want to possibly play and just help yourself and not hinder anybody else so the wide variety of what you choose to do and how you choose to play is going to be there for you unfair is one of my favorite tableau management games it's ferdinand the cardboard stacker is one of his favorite games and for very good reason it's excellent everything about it is high quality and fun and the rules especially for the base game are very easy to understand once you go through the tutorial and this video will give you enough information to just jump in my like this my only real main complaint is just the rule book here and a couple of what do you do in this situation and how does it function it doesn't even explain like for aliens when you get a token on an alien at the end of the round it'll get abducted but it doesn't say how that happens well it's because there's cards in the deck and you have to figure that out as you're playing it's not too big or too difficult but for a new gamer it, it possibly might be regardless though overall seal of approval for unfair the expansion really really enjoyed this game and if you like unfair you will too as long as you don't mind a pretty aggressive game with some unique twists and turns added to it all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review video if you like this video like subscribe comment hit that bell notification button it does greatly help us out we do greatly appreciate it and you can check out the rest of our videos as they come out each and every time so you can see my lovely beautiful face for all the different reviews that you might be interested in and of course unfair down below link in the description also our live streams every wednesday 6 30 p.m pst where you can see us play games just like this one on the stream and our website unfilteredgamer.com blog posts giveaways kickstarter lists and more and of course our 
holiday gift guides coming out very shortly. If you're interested in taking a look at games you can get for your family this festive season. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to being unfair with you next time.